Although this does not bring Monica and Sandy and Gordon back, we are very grateful that justice has been served and that we now have the opportunity to move forward with our lives. Thank you. He determined that 25 years parole ineligibility is appropriate versus the 75 years that the Crown was seeking. We think it's a fair decision. It was a well-reasoned and thorough decision. He considered all the factors that were necessary, um, imposed a sentence which reflected the uh, egregious nature of the acts that he found my client guilty of, but yet uh, recognized that everyone is capable of uh, redemption, of rehabilitation, and um, left that possibility open. Again, I think uh, one important takeaway from his decision is the fact that no one should walk away from this thinking that at 25 years my client will walk out of jail. That will be up to the parole board. And as Justice Macklin pointed out, there are very few multiple murderers um, in the Canadian jails who obtain parole at 25 years or very soon thereafter. I don't know what uh, what consolation the family could have in this. I'm hoping, as the judge said, that they find a measure of peace in this. Uh, I think, as the judge pointed out, that in many ways nothing will ever uh, assuage their pain or make up for the loss of their family members. It's a terrible crime. That's been said by everyone in a number of different ways, and just we just hope that they go on and they can find some peace and and uh, and carry on the memory of their loved ones.